In keeping with the University of San Francisco's tradition of inviting the city's mayors to the city's first university, we are honored to have in our presence today the mayor of the city and county of San Francisco, the Honorable Edwin M. Lee. Mayor Lee graduated summa cum laude from Bowdoin College and received his law degree from Bolt Hall at the University of California, Berkeley. For more than 20 years, Mayor Lee has served the city of San Francisco in numerous capacities, including city administrator, director of public works, and director of the Human Rights Commission. Though perfectly comfortable in his position as city administrator, in January of 2011, Mayor Lee answered the call to complete the remaining year of former Mayor Gavin Newsom's term. Within that short time, a groundswell of support and boisterous campaigns, including the irrepressible Too Legit to Quit, uh, he was finally persuaded to seek elected office. Last November, he was overwhelmingly elected the 43rd mayor of San Francisco. He's the first Asian American to serve as mayor of San Francisco. Please join me in welcoming the Honorable Edwin M. Lee. Thank you. Members of the Board of Trustees, Father Provitt, faculty and staff of the University of San Francisco, families and friends. Good morning, class of 2012. Well, thank you, Dean Campari, for that very kind introduction. And also, thank you to Alex Casonis, your valedictorian. Something tells me we might see Alex after he finishes his biotechnology studies and research that perhaps you'll be running for office someday. We can certainly use your thoughtfulness and leadership and your enthusiasm in government today. Now, I understand a little later, Bill Cosby will be here on the campus. A man of wonderful sense of humor who never fails to provoke reflection and sometimes controversy with his comments. Well, I'm going to try to avoid controversy today, but many of you may not realize I too can be quite a comedian. Just ask my daughters and my wife. It's amazing. I must be so funny because they laugh at every single one of my jokes. My mother too, really. And then there's that entertaining reality TV show that I'm a part of that brings a healthy dose of comedy and sometimes drama on a regular basis. Some of you may have even visited the set. It's called San Francisco City Hall. <laughs> but I know being a mayor is a job that I love and I thank the people of this city every single day for giving me the opportunity to serve San Francisco. It's a privilege to wake up each morning and go to City Hall and work for you, the people of San Francisco, and to do everything I can to help you succeed and grow in your lives. Because University of San Francisco, class of 2012, that is what today is about. Succeeding and growing your lives for yourselves, for your families, and as your mayor, I'll selfishly say for your city or for whatever whatever community you go from here. Now, I just turned 60 a couple of weeks ago, and I've been thinking lately, you know, we did some good things in my generation. Here in San Francisco, we raised our voices against the needless rush to war, whether in Vietnam or Iraq. We blazed new trails for social justice, pushed the rest of America to embrace equal rights for all of our people, women, African Americans, Asian Americans, Latinos, gay, lesbian, transgender people, and people with disabilities. We are a leader in protecting the environment, and we were the first city in America to have universal health care for all of our residents. When I was not much older than you, after I graduated from Bowdoin College, 
I came to the Bay Area to join others and raise a little heck to make the world a better place. We locked arms and stood in the doorway of the International Hotel to prevent the wrongful eviction of elderly Filipino and Chinese immigrants who had no money and no place to go. We sued the San Francisco Fire Department to give women and people of color a chance to be a firefighter and put their lives on the line for public safety. And I think we made a difference. Today, I am proud that our city hired a woman to lead our fire department, Fire Chief Joanne Hayes White. And I could have never have imagined that in my lifetime, the country would elect an African American president or that the people of San Francisco would elect a Chinese American mayor. But we also screwed up a few things along the way, and from the economy to the environment and social justice, we're still working at it. And now that you're graduating, class of 2012, the challenges and the problems of the world are your challenges and problems too. And your next assignment, your homework for the rest of your life, I get to do this because I'm mayor, <laughs> is to run the ball a little further down the field and help your community and this world be a better place. Now I know some of you are thinking, Mayor, I gotta get a job. I gotta repay my student loans. I have to care for my family. Yes, you do. And I know it might seem like we're just letting you out of the world today to fend for yourself in an economy where too many young people are still looking for too few jobs. It's survival of the fittest, like something out of the Hunger Games. But my message to you is that San Francisco, you are not on your own. It's more like the Avengers. No, I, I don't have any special superpowers, though I often wish I did at City Hall. What I mean is that while it may not always be evident, and though you may face many challenges as you leave this university and throughout your life, always remember that you are surrounded by a not-so-secret society of people who want to help you. They are people in business and government, law, technology, sports, entertainment, healthcare, education, in every field, who have achieved some measure of success or wisdom in their own lives. The greatest gift they can ever give is to pass on a little bit of that wisdom and a little bit of what they learn to you and to help you succeed to an even greater degree. Don't get me wrong. It is up to you and you alone to decide what you're going to do with this education and with this opportunity and not to waste it. But don't ever be afraid to ask for help, whether it's your boss, your family, your colleague, or your mayor. And along the way to your success, look to your own communities and ask yourself, how can I give back? How can I use my education to help my community and add to the valuable work that is going on all around me and in my neighborhood or in my city? Because if there's one thing I see in this economy that is emerging, all these great startups and technology and clean tech and biotech that are adding so many jobs to our city, it's that success does not come from going it alone. Success comes from collaboration, from interaction, from bringing diverse backgrounds and skills towards a common vision and goal. Go to these new companies, whether it's Dropbox or Airbnb, any of the incubators south of Market and Mission Bay, they don't have offices. They have big open tables. They have whiteboards everywhere and glass-walled conference rooms. The entire company is built around the notion of collaboration, the idea that success comes from sharing ideas and talent and goals because that's how we get innovation. That's how you, class of 2012, will leave the world a better place than you found it and fix the things my generation didn't quite get right. Not just innovation in technology and our economy, but innovative approaches to healthcare, to curing disease, to cleaning our air and water, to delivery 
of social services and social justice. And there's no better place to start than here, the innovation capital of the world, to start the rest of your life. We're the gateway to the Pacific Rim in Asia, to the West, and to the growing economies of Latin America and Brazil, to the South. We are an international destination and a brand known around the world. You, class of 2012, are part of that Made in San Francisco brand, a brand that represents new ideas, new frontiers, new beginnings. It is that spirit of innovation that reflected, that's reflected in your university's new marketing campaign that I've seen on some of our buses and bus shelters around town. Change the world from here. Some of them definitely make you smile. Academics, tougher than finding a parking spot in North Beach? Funny. But the one that struck me the most was the one that says, there is no moral compass app. And so I say to you as well, don't lose yourself and your values amidst the distractions and challenges of life. Don't forget where you came from, even from amidst the successes you may achieve. I'll close with a little astrology. Some of you know the Chinese zodiac 2012 is the year of the dragon. The dragon is the only mythical animal in the Chinese zodiac and the most powerful of all the rest. The year of the dragon is fittingly a time for risk-taking, bold decisions, and innovation. Class of 2012, San Francisco and the world need your risk-taking. Seize the year of the dragon for yourselves, for your family, and for the rest of us. You are graduating at a time of momentous opportunity and promise, and I know I'm a little biased, but there's no better city on earth in which to begin the rest of your life with your new degree in your hand. We're so proud of you, and always remember that we are counting on you, and we are here to help you realize your greatest potential. Thank you, and congratulations to the class of 2012.